If you're looking for a unique way to leverage AI to make more money, then you're in the right place because in this short video, I'm gonna share how you can leverage Notebook LM to identify profitable opportunities in your niche. So let's go and do it. So we all operate in different niches and to give this video more practicality, I'm gonna use the plant-based diet as an example niche. So you wanna head over to Google and you want to find reports, blog posts, case studies that are relatively up to date within your niche. So I'm gonna plonk this in here. And then if we scroll down, we've got all of these different articles and reports. We've got plant-based food trends from Expo West 2024 key plant-based market trends 2024. So you've got a bunch of these different reports that you can potentially add to Notebook LM. Now, before we open that up, we can also head on over to Amazon and find a related physical product. So if I go to amazon.com and I can do a search for plant-based protein powder and we'll see what comes up, we can pick several of these as well and we can use these in conjunction with our reports and we can go over and create something in Notebook LM. So let's go over to Notebook LM. We're gonna come over here. I'm gonna create a new notebook. So we'll click on this. They've changed the design recently. So we're going to add our sources. So if we click on website, I will go back here and I will just choose this first one. So I'm just gonna open this up in a new tab. And then this is the report. So we'll copy this and we'll paste this in here and hopefully, this will pull in the information. It doesn't always pull in every single source. It didn't in this case, but no problem. What we can do is we can go back here and then I'm gonna click on this little Chrome extension. I'll link to it in the uh, description below. And I'm just gonna basically copy everything. So let's come right the way down. It's quite long. We don't need that last little bit there. We'll copy this. We'll come back and we'll add a new source. And in this case, copied text and we'll paste everything. Okay, so now we've got the summary of this source. I'm gonna pause the video and I will add several other sources, some more articles from the Google search and a couple of those Amazon products. And then we'll come back and move on to the next step. So as you can see, I've added a bunch of sources. You could of course add as many as you want. We then need to make sure that they're all checked and we need to ask some questions. So for example, what are the most popular products in the plant-based diet market? And we're gonna hit this and see what it comes up with. And then we're gonna ask it some other questions as well before we make any decisions. Now, if you want to, you can also add blogs as well. But if we come up here, look, we've got mushrooms are predicted to be the biggest plant-based trend of 2024. Now we're coming up to the end of 2024, um, but we've got plant-based seafood is an emerging market, functional drinks, wellness-focused foods, plant-based meat replacements, plant-based protein powder, and plant-based creamers. So this could be great if you're in this niche when it comes to product development. It could also be great if you're an affiliate marketer in this niche and you could identify products on popular affiliate platforms that you know match these and potentially promote those as an affiliate. Now, another question we can ask is this, what trends are emerging in the your niche, in this case, the plant-based diet niche for 2025? You just obviously want to choose the upcoming year. And we'll hit enter and we'll see if we can get any information here, which might give us more focus because we're coming up to the end of 2024. Um, so it's really going to be useful if we can find emerging trends in this niche for next year. So let's come down here. or let's come up here, I should say. So we've got sustainability will continue to be a major focus. Diversification of plant-based product offerings, such as chocolate sauces, spreads and beverages. Um, integrated into global cuisines, especially Italian, Chinese and Mexican. This presents an opportunity for plant-based brands to develop products that cater to these specific tastes. Quality, luxury, vegan foods. So we've got all of these ideas that we can potentially use. We can also look for gaps as well. So we can put something like this, what gaps exist in the plant-based protein market? So we can hit enter if we can identify gaps that we can potentially exploit then that would be great. So we can come up here and we can look at this. Gaps in the plant-based protein market, healthier and less processed meat replacements, plant-based seafood, um, going beyond meat and dairy. So we've got all of these potential things here that we could exploit. One more thing we could also do is look for search terms. So what are people searching for related to the plant-based diet? Now it's gonna be better in this particular case if you do use a paid tool like SEMrush or Ahrefs. But for now, we'll just enter this in and see if we can get some ideas because it's always good to know what people are actually searching for. And if we can find some specific themes, topics or terms, then that's going to be useful. So again, we come up here, plant-based as a keyword. It gives us an approximate 451,000 online searches. 
leading up to September 18th, 2024. Product attributes like vegan, vegetarian, dairy-free and meat-free. Recipes and cooking guidance. So if you're a food blogger, this is great information to know. Global cuisines as well, as mentioned earlier. Italian, Chinese and Mexican, it focuses on here. And we've got these other things here. So understanding these trends, it can help you as an online marketer optimize your online presence as well as develop possible campaigns for the future to meet the demands of your target audience. All you've got to do now is put it into action. If the AI tells you that plant-based protein for athletes is popular, but there aren't many affordable options, you could create content around budget-friendly plant-based protein powders. Also, let's just say that Notebook LM tells you that taste is a common issue, so you could focus on reviewing or promoting better tasting plant-based products. So you don't actually have to physically you know, create these kind of food items, but you can leverage this if you're a blogger or a content creator, and you could just recommend affiliate offers based on what Notebook LM tells you. So I hope you got a little bit of value from this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in another video soon. Take care.